Welcome to Reflect the Fashion Production. This is Prince Tales. I had to do this voiceover because I said Puppy Tales instead of Prince Tales, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, so if you hear him squeaking in the background, he's playing with his newer toy. This toy right here is actually an older toy that he just started now picking up. He is going to be eight months on the 15th, which is really exciting. With him coming into our life, so much has changed. And in this video, we are going to be talking about his snack packs that I put together for Malia and I when we do his training and I actually picked that up when he was going through training I think it's very important to just have something more when you're training um I feel like every dog is different because I had a dog growing up and Prince is like extra <laughs> Taz he was not like this at all he was so sweet and very calm Prince is he's over the top and I love it so in training we actually um, purchased these little fanny packs and I call them training bags because we mix up um, Prince's food as well as all of his little treats that he likes he really likes these right here so I have to get some more of these but I'm gonna actually make a training snack pack um i use these here so i use about what is this two cups of um his dog food and then i take each and every one of these um treats and i mix them in so um let me go ahead and do that now with malia being asleep i decided that i was going to go ahead and film this myself and um it's a little harder to film with one hand and then doing all of the treats. But this is two cups of dog food. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smaller training bites. These right here and I'm going to mix those in. I'm going to actually probably use a cup of these because we just this is the last bag that we have. So... That then it look like chocolate chips. So that's peanut butter. Uh, he really does like peanut butter. I'm sure a lot of dogs like peanut butter as well. I um, noticed that when I when he was um, a little puppy, he really enjoyed like the the peanut butter treats more than like the chicken and everything. So we have a few of these left. We have the rest of this bag. I'm going to measure it just because I want to make sure that um, we stay on like the consistency of the of the measurements. So actually, let me do this. That was actually perfect because it was a half a cup and I didn't even take this apart. So I'm really struggling this morning, but okay. Together. He in here. He, <laughs> you should see him. Hold on. Uh, you should see him. He's like standing out there. Cause he know he's not supposed to be in the kitchen, but that's our trash. I gotta take it out. Okay. So it looks like little chocolate chips and his dog food. Okay, so this is what the apple nanas look like. Uh, I actually count eight of these and I put them in, but these are all that's left in the bag. There's about 19 of them. So I'm going to just throw them all in here. And when we do go on walks, we actually break these in half and give them to them. Um, just because they're kind of big. Even with a, I would say even with him getting into being a big dog because he's about 50 pounds now and even breaking those in half we have enough treats to you know go on our walk <laughs> he's patiently waiting look do you want to come in here oh it's kind of blurry no let me let me clean up the trash hold on i cleaned up the trash so he can come in all right. Sit, Prince. If you don't sit, then you got to get out. 
or you can lay down. Which one are you going to do? He's sniffing. I actually dropped some treats on the floor. Friends, sit. Sit. Sit down. I love how you tell me what to do. Okay, I'm going to kick you out. Come on. Let's go out because you're not listening. Let's get out. You're not listening. Here. You want to sit right here? Sit right here. You sit. You be a big boy. Good boy. You want a treat? Yeah. Okay. Let me get you a treat. See, I'm going to give him a big one. Okay. Okay, back to the snack pack. Oh, okay. So since we put these little, these in here, I'm going to actually um, do something a little different. We have like, it feels like not that many of these left. And they're soft bones. So I'm going to throw these in there too. Okay, so I just went ahead and mixed more of his treats and stuff together that we have. We have like these num num sticks is what they're called. Then we put some chicken beef jerky in here. And we can actually... um split these apart which i already did so they're like six all together and they're technically it's three but i split them apart i put six of these in here as well so each bag that we have will get will get an even amount um of everything the last thing that i do have are like these dip bones i want to put those in there too because i think that'd be a good treat and then i have these um Hold on. I have these as well. And you can't really break these apart. But I thought these were kind of cool. They're like chicken and potatoes. Or something like that. I, I threw away the, uh, the regular bag. But he likes these. So I'm going to just throw those in there. And I'm going to put one. So then I'll get one. And Malia will get one. And typically our bag um, with... Our um, treats last about two weeks, but um, because it's cold and we don't really go on walks like we're supposed to, like we do three walks a day when it was um, nice, but since it's cold, it's been like one or maybe even two. And it's a little harder because, you know, um, it's darker. So it's just like, I don't really want to go outside. So today, which is Sunday, we're going to do a nice long walk and we're going to see if, you know, this actually helps us as well. Because when we do go on our long walks, we do have other um, dogs that are around and her and I typically walk him together so that he can know to walk in between us. And that's a whole nother story. Like we're trying to get it together. It's just, whoo. He does what he wants sometimes. Okay, so this is all the treats. They're not really mixed in yet. I don't really want to mix them all up just yet because I'm going to put them in our bags. Um, I do put um, all of this in a plastic bag and then I put them in our bags that we have. So sometimes it does, like, there does happen to be crumbs in there, but that's because we're probably just sticking our fingers. Mine is more messier than Malia's because the last time um, I did this, we didn't have plastic bags and I used a treat bag. And um, like I said, Prince does what he wants and he like tried to get in my bag and it spilled over. And that's one of the things that I'm really trying to work on is him not doing whatever he wants. But clearly you could see that when I told him to sit, but he knows what out means. Like you need to get out. Cause we tell him that all the time because he don't listen. He'd rather get out than listen. He's so stubborn. <laughs> That's not funny, but still, he he really rather just gets out than listen. Okay, so that's the leftover. Um, each cup, each cup, each bag gets about a cup and a half. So as you can see, all of the treats are in there, and then here are the other ones right here. I'm gonna 
put those individually in the bags. Um, before I... So let's do that now. So I'll just stick them in there. Hold on. I'm doing a really good job of recording without Maria. This is awesome. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do this again because you can barely see what's going on. Look. <laughs> He's watching me. He's like, what is she over there doing? Okay, so um, I'm going to put this in here. Actually, let me open this up. Oh, see, that's easier. So you can see me just drop them in there. And that's just the treat bag. So when we go on a walk, if we're in the car, and in the car, I typically actually have like a little, uh, I'll do more of these than I will like big treats like this because we're in the car. Um, and it's easier for me, like if I'm driving, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just probably give him the rest of these because he's been good. He's been sitting over there so he can have some of that. Um, I use these big bowls. I actually got these from Dollar Tree a long, long time ago. So my blue ones I actually use for him and mixing his food and stuff. So we don't use these for ourselves. And then I got... These little measuring cups, I use that for him as well because we have our own measuring cups. But that's his tree bag and what we do. And we actually fill it up for about once a month. And to be honest with you, I'm going to be completely honest. If you go to the store and you see your the treats are like three by three, get four free. Get the ones that your dog likes. I actually, well, I don't actually. Prince likes Pet Pet Mart more than he does Petco, so that's where we go. Um, sometimes I'll go in a Petco by myself because I'm a I'm a crazy person. I just like to spend money on my my puppy. I don't know what's that about, but um, yeah, I'll go in there by myself. And if I see some good treats that he likes, I'll grab them. But I'm actually trying to put myself on a budget, so once a month. We spend about so much on prints versus me spending all my money. Because when I tell you when we first got him, oh, yeah, I was like, oh, I need to get him this. Oh, I need to get him this. And Malia was like, you didn't get me nothing. <laughs> so it's just like splitting in between both of them. Oh, it's insane. So I had to stop because I was like, if I get him something, then I got to get her something. And I should get me something because they're not going to get nothing without me getting anything that's not cool so i really had to get my impulsive buy-in together because he was definitely an, an impulsive buy however it was just so worth it and so we had to rearrange our pantry just so that everything can fit so our trash can used to go down there it doesn't anymore that's where his food goes and then that's where his treats and then his little toy which i'm gonna put the remaining of his uh little treats that he had in that bowl and his toy because he actually really likes that he plays with that very well now at first when he was a little puppy oh my gosh it was so funny to watch him play with it but that's what he's gonna do while i finish cleaning up um i did get these from target which I really like those because when we go on our shorter walks, we use these just to keep him um, on the side of us. I also have a puppy pad here. This works really good when I want to keep him in his room. He's, oh my goodness, and he's not really listening. But this right here was a great find. I'm sorry that my camera is blurry. This was a great find from Target because this right here was literally like, $25 and then if you use your circle uh what is it your target circle little thing you don't have to spend that much but I get this from food from target because I think it's the most uh inexpensive I went to Walmart and it was like two dollars more than target and I was like mm, I'm good I'm gonna go to target so yeah that's what I do and then 
yeah got those most of his toys i get from target too because they're they're cheaper they really are okay well that's what his little pantry looks like so when he does come and he is in the kitchen this is he like sits in front of the door it's so funny but we don't let him in the kitchen that much because he likes to get on the counters He's just chilling. Hi, friends. Hi. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Sharing is caring, and we will talk to you guys soon. You say bye. Say goodbye. You're so handsome. Say I'm a handsome puppy. <laughs>